can't resist it, hey, when you get these sort of this sort of weather to come out here and, and launch a plane. You can see the wind sock there, it's just hanging limp. <laughs> it's very there is no wind here at the moment. I've got my Zod Dart out here. It's just uh, generating some satellites at the moment. I'll give you a little rundown on the on the craft. Uh, I've had a few little things done to it since I think the last video I put out with it. It's um, running i know 5. I've got that run running now tuned up and quite happy with the way it flies. Um, I'm running a 10 inch prop on it now. It's just, it's just got its satellite lock. I'm running a 10 by 45 I believe. 10 45 prop on the back now. What else have I done? It's got a new ESC in it which can handle up to 6S. Not that I'm going to run it that much. It's just a a cruiser this thing long range cruiser but it's a better ESC I've also put in a Bluetooth module now so I can use the speedy B app on it if I really want to change anything on the field or my laptop even through iNav so that'll run through Bluetooth uh, other than that it's pretty much all the same it's going to be running the 10,000 milliamp lithium iron battery again um, and we'll try and get some onboard footage so Let's get it up in the air. It's just, it's gaining, it's only got eight satellites, but it's nearly enough to get it up in the air. So the Bluetooth uh, module I put in is the Flywoo Nano, if anyone's wondering. And we'll just connect that up so we got some video footage. And the new ESC I put in is a Holy Bro, uh, it's one of the metal, it's a 60, 60 amp, I believe. That's a bit of an upgrade to the stock ESC it had in it. All right, guys, I'm going to send this up in the air before my VTX overheats. Um. So this, this plane, it's a beautiful plane now that I've got it set up to launch. I was having a lot of difficulties launching this plane. It was twisting to the left a lot. I think it was torque roll. Um, and I had a smaller prop on it back then. It was a stock prop, the 9x6. Um, I'm putting the 10x6 on there now. I've lowered the spin-up time uh, in iNav for the, for the launch. Auto level. Um, I think I've got that now to one second or one and a half seconds. I can't exactly remember, but I've in increased that considerably and that's helped the launch time um, to launch exactly how it just went then every time I fly. One minute. Telemetry last. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Three minutes. So this plane, I haven't put any capacitors on it yet. It's a bit of a, uh, it's something I've been meaning to do, but I haven't haven't had the time to be honest. Um, I'm getting flickering in that video there. You can see the flickering coming and going. The on-screen display also goes at times. And I'm, I've, I'm not 100% sure whether it's a problem, but um, if anyone can point me in that direction, that'd be a help too. But I am going to put some capacitors on the ESC side of the flight controller and um, try and filter out the power a little bit and hopefully improve that. I 
I'm also running Express LRS uh, 2.5.1 uh, in this flight and it's currently um, I'm still working Express LRS out a little bit with the packet rates and the Sensor telemetry lost. ratio etc but I'm losing a lot of uh, I'm getting a lot of lost. telemetry lost telemetry signal recovered. warnings telemetry coming lost. up which gets quite annoying Five so if, uh, if anyone uh, um, understands that side of things please let me know telemetry too in the comments recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. RF signal critical. Telemetry recovered. Hmm. I've double checked all the wiring with the video and um, with the VTX recovered. and everything's solid and good all I can assume it is is bad filtering So I've got a capacitor coming on. I'm going to put a capacitor on the ES side, the battery side of the ESC. And I'll probably put another one on the camera side as well, just to try and filter the picture coming through from the VTX. Seven minutes. And I'll see how that works, whether that helps it. Other than that, the craft flies well. That's the only issues I'm having with it is the video transmission flickering like it is and my Express LRS telemetry telling me telemetry lost, telemetry recovered all the time. Nine minutes. I know you can turn that off, but I really want to have, have that and have it going, just not letting me know as often. The uh, 10 by 6 prop, it's a gem fan prop that I'm using. Um, I have got another prop I'm bringing, I'm going to give it a, give a try to as well, um, just to compare. And it, mainly because I don't know the colour of the prop, if it's a grey prop, I want a black prop on the back of the plane. But the um, 10 by 6 really seems to suit this plane and its weight, because it's, um, I haven't totally weighed it. So I don't exactly know exactly it's it's um, full payload weight. Uh, but it does use uh, the ZOHD 10,000 milliamp lithium iron battery, which is pretty heavy. And I felt it, it did struggle a little bit with that weight, with the 9x6 prop that came with it. It's the best move I ever made with this plane um, upgrading to a 10 by 6 prop with its weight. Um, one day I'll, I'll, I'll weigh it and I'll, I'll let you all know what it weighs um, with, it, with its full, um, full load.
Well, that's about it, guys. I'm not going to keep going because this battery will go for an hour at least. We're only down to 18 percent, 80 percent battery. Have a look here, 80, 77. So just cruising along. That's 15 minutes almost. It's really flying beautifully. Only angle mode. Telemetry lost. Transmitter battery low. 17 minutes. Telemetry recovered. Transmitter battery low. Telemetry lost. I think we'll bring it in now. It's sucking a bit of tran transmitter. Recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Transmitter battery low. All right, we'll bring her in now. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Before I lose bat <laughs> battery in my transmitter. Any problem with the... Um, with the R9 and the Express LRS I'm running, it seems to be very, very thirsty on the battery. I'll bring it in. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Transmitter battery low. That's a beautiful touchdown. There you go, guys. I have five Zod Dart XL. Um, that was uh, what is that? 18 minute flight. Disarmed. And we still had about 70% battery, I think. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of fun there. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye for now.